Right there. There we are, brother. We are in the Lord's house today. How, how have you been? Let me tell you something. I'm not going to start with that because you always seem to hate it for some I reason. I hate it. <laughs> I just want to know. Like, I hate how this isn't close to my mouth, bro. Oh, there well, we go. Get it in there, dude. There we go. There we go. Um, Dude, it's it's been a happy new year. Really? No, happy new year. Oh. Happy New Year, dude. Happy New Year, bro. New Year, new you? I don't know, dude. I've this is. I mean, let me tell you something, dude. The New Year's really knows how to give you just the nicest pat on the back and just a kick in the nuts. Yeah, it always somehow you get so it's, excited. It somehow always hits the left and then the right. You know when like you hit your nuts and then like they kind of clank together. They kind of like kind of like kind of. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. sucks so bad. It's, yeah, it sucks. Women will never know the pain, dude. Childbirth times 10. Yeah, dude, if they clank together like church bells, <laughs> yeah. it's over. Like, like those desk toys where you hit the ball and then it oh. goes back and forth like that. Yeah, Newton's seventh mm-hmm. law or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, dude, New Year's, it was nice, bro. I went to a ranch. I went to my family down in, you know, Harper, Texas. Mm-hmm. Shout out H Town. That's near Austin. Uh, maybe two hours away. Oh, which way? Mm, to the left on a map, if you're looking at it. Okay, to the left. Got it. So I think e- west. Yeah. Never That's a lot farther than Austin. Worms. I thought it was. So what y'all do? Is is it like an actual like ranch? Uh, well, the one in Harper we went. It was like a family reunion. Which is weird because I've not been to a family reunion in like. It's not your side of the family. No, that that one was mine. Oh. I did too. Oh. While I was down there, I went to family reunion, and then I went to the ranch after. Hmm. The family reunion is weird because it's just like. I haven't done one in so long, and it's like, hey, everybody, haven't seen you. Like nobody really knows what to talk about. Yeah. We're just oh, like you've grown so much. I've been the same height for ten years. <laughs> Actually, well, probably, dude. I, yeah, you haven't grown at all since you were like 12. I hit six foot and Same for I me. peaked. Six foot, 13, I was like, <laughs> I guess I'm done. Do, do women, do they get it all at once or? Puberty? No, because you know how like usually girls get taller than boys for, for a second? Oh, mm-hmm. Do they do it? Do they max out or do they just gradually? Probably. I, I remember all every girl, every single girl in my uh, elementary school was taller than all the guys. Really? I remember one specifically was super tall. I was like, one day. Yeah, they just stopped. Tall, fast shoes, whoever yeah. had the best lunch, dude. Those are, those are the keys when you're third grade. When you're just tall as frick, you're the coolest guy in there. I guess. And if you have fast shoes. Yeah. And if you got a cool lunch, dude, if your mom's hitting you on Crustables, mm. Cheetos, she throw in the two, the the little Ziploc bag with the two Oreos. Did I tell you about? <clears throat> crazy, dude. When I first moved to my new school after we came back from Africa, I didn't know how to use a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, how old were you when you used your first microwave? Dude, I don't Four? know. Four? <laughs> no. Uh, this is my this is my earliest memory of using a microwave because it was so bad. Put your hand in. No, I I had a I had one of those pizza lunchables, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, you have to you can either eat it cold or put it in the microwave. I was like I'm not eat this cold, it's gross. And so I put it in the microwave at the school at the elementary school. The, the kids could just use the microwave at, el- at the elementary school. Yeah. I don't know if that's normal, but I didn't know how to work it, so I was like, I guess I'll put this on eight minutes. <laughs> And so I did, and I, was, I put on eight minutes, and I, came, I sat back down, and uh, it, just, it started smoking. <laughs> what do you think you got the idea of eight minutes? <laughs> I was just like, this sounds like a, a reasonable time, uh, and it started smoking, and uh, you know, I was like, what's that smell? Yeah, and then it started getting a little foggy in there, and then uh, and then it was like started catching on fire and stuff, and it was real bad. Do you know how wild it is to just like let kids freelance a microwave? 
Yeah, I didn't. I mean, like yeah, a kid doesn't know crazy. what's metallic. No, you know, mm-hmm. you're you're like, does it magnet? You put stainless steel in the microwave because it didn't magnet. Oh, dude, I would have put my metal ruler in there if I could. Yeah. Easy. Fifteen minutes. Pry it open with your <laughs> ruler. Yeah, dude. My food's in there. I don't know where the we lead had metal is. Metal forks, bro. I put a metal fork in a microwave. I put a put it in an outlet at school. <laughs> you did what? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, some kid. <laughs> man. Some kid uh, <clears throat> kicked the. <laughs> Get some LaCroix, dude. Some kid kicked the. I think it was the faucet at the school or something, and it just flooded the whole place. It, like like broke. the sink part or like yeah, a yeah. random faucet in the bathroom. Yeah, the sink, and it just broke. It it just broke and. and go, dude, some kids are like. I feel insane. like that was you though. <laughs> No, dude, I was a good kid. I was actually such a good kid in no, school. You were, bro. you were sitting on kids. No, I swear. I was very good in school. I was very good. I don't know why, honestly. No. Because I was not good anywhere else, I don't think. But there was this one kid. Dude, this is my favorite thing. Whenever I was in, like, pre-K, not even, like, regular school, <clears throat> a kid showed up. I may have told you this, but I'll tell the other audience. kid pulled up with a Ziploc baggie full of... The toppings of cosmic brownies. You know those like little kind of yeah, the good parts. Yeah, and he goes, "These are drugs." <laughs> <laughs> Who I'm selling it five dollars for like a handful, and the teachers were like, "No." <laughs> Hold on, how do you even get that many of those things? Does he just pick them off himself? I don't know, dude. That's why it was so impressive. Did he know a guy? <laughs> and he knew to call them drugs. <laughs> he was like in pre K, like I can sell. Anything if it's in a miscellaneous baggie. Yeah, he came in with like those those child safe pill bottles you know you get from the pharmacy and he puts them in there. Dude, that would have sold me on it. He sold them to us and then nobody could open them. He's like, I'll open them for five dollars too. Yeah, <laughs> and running the market. That's wild. Man, the Starbucks tastes good. Um, gross. The crazy thing about this Starbucks is this is um, I call it Olato. The lady at the Starbucks seemed mad at me. She's like. It's a Olado. And I was is like, it a kind of coffee? It's a kind of coffee, but what makes it different is they, uh, I don't know what the ratio is, but they put a lot of olive oil in it, like straight olive oil. Ew. And, <laughs> I didn't and, think coffee could get any worse. Dude, the laxative that coffee is already, and then you're drinking oil? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah. Praise God, have dude, ever, America. Have you ever tried to drink like a shot of like any kind of like avocado or olive oil? No, Before? I don't think so. I haven't either. But I think there might be a full shot in this. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I had, I had, uh, was working out at the gym a couple months ago, and this guy came up and uh, asked if, I, if he could work in with me. I was like, sure. Yeah. And we started talking about our workout regimen stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to bulk. And he's like, yeah, same. And he said he he went to school at UT mm-hmm. and uh, had, a, had a buddy there who was on the football team, and they are trying to bulk up. He's trying to book up to be a starter, and he's hitting shots. And he was he was straight up eating like ice cream with avocado oil on it oh. to get the calories. I'm like, dude, that's the most <laughs> nasty thing I can think of. Just straight oil, bro. Dude, bodybuilders do be eating some crazy stuff. Yeah, man, like dog food and crap. Like, or dogs. Have you ever had anybody explain to you how somehow? A raw egg is more healthy than just a cooked egg. Like, just cook it, bro. It's just faster. But not everything needs to be faster, dude. It's food. Dude, if you're trying to hit a calorie count and you got a certain amount of time in a day, like me, I'm very regimented when I eat. Like, I eat a a protein bar at 10.30 every day. eat a PB&J at 3.30. That's in between. That's after my meal. Mm -hmm. And I come home and I eat seeds and all that, but... It's like, dude, you have to be, can't miss. But okay. yeah, eggs. Yeah, I'm like, I'm cooking my eggs. Okay, I'm well, not that raw. Speaking of regiment, dude, we've had a lot of uh, subscribers and Patreon people. They want to know what we're doing with our New Year's, what our big plans are, what our goals are. And by a lot, I mean my grandma. Well, Miss Debbie, wa- <laughs> <laughs> she um, wants to know what we're doing, dude. Do you want to go first or me? Um, Did you write yours down? <laughs> my New Year's was actually kind of... I remember. <laughs> no, my freaking laptop just closed. I didn't have time to put the display always on or whatever. But my New Year's is kind of interesting this year because I've never done this before. 
but since I was married, I was kind of like, I don't think I told many people, many people this, but I kind of mentally was thinking it. I was like, the first year of marriage, I'm not going to like check out, but I'm not going to try that hard on like what I'm eating. And then I'll kind of like, I'll kind of like enjoy marriage and enjoy like not having to be like super strict about the meals. I'll let Grace make the meals she wants to make. I'll make the meals, you know, and not have to be too nitpicky. But after that, I was like, I'm going to get healthy. And then it compounded for the holidays. I was like, dang, I'm starting to eat a lot of cookies and random crap. And so probably like the November, middle of November, I was like, I just started realizing and consciously thinking all of the food I was eating was like poison. I was like, dude, this is just so much sugar and so much calories. Like every time, as I was eating it, I was like, this is like poison. Yeah. And so when New Year's came around. another cookie. Huh? And you grabbed another cookie. And I grabbed another one mm-hmm. without a without a thought. Oh, yeah. But this yeah, is why. It's poison. Because I was eating it and I was like, here's the thing though. And I was thinking this in November. I was like, the day January 1st hits, nothing, dude. I'm going hard. Bro. Is that why you pulled up to my place with a single hot dog? Yeah. A single wiener. He pulled up to my place with, with a single wiener. A si- single weenie out the single window? Single weenie. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I'm back on the carnivore. I'm, I'm oh, back. Oh, yeah. I'm back on it. The funny thing is, is I was like, January 1st, going hard, dude. And I did, but the more New Year's morning, I had donuts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so. Dude, that's, <laughs> you're, you are the not exception. <laughs> but, but other than that, like just that literally breakfast, I've not, I've not touched anything bad. And the thing is, it's been easier because I've been thinking about it for two months. I've been like, instead of just like coming up with a New Year's resolution, like, night before Mm -hmm. i've been thinking consciously like i'm i i was like i'm gonna have fun in november i'm gonna have fun in december but january then i'm gonna start eating like it's fuel and not comfort yeah which is hard it's hard because like nobody ever thinks of food as fuel anymore they always think this has got to taste good it's like dude you think the indians or you think any of the I don't know the medieval Indian guys, uh, Indians hmm? with the hmm? with the bows and arrows. What about them? Not with the serpents. Careful. They weren't thinking. I'm gonna get a tasty bison. They're thinking I'm gonna get a bison that feeds the village. Dude, any any wild bison's gonna be tasty though. You know what's crazy is I didn't realize that the bison's they were fo- are, uh, that they're hunting. They would just like follow the pack, like wherever it went, and they would just pick one off. You know when it was time. But I was like, that's kind of funny that you're just like, they never, the bison's never figured it out. <laughs> They're like, these guys are always behind us and they always nab one of us like once every three weeks. Yeah. So your, so your <clears throat> New Year's resolution is to eat better or just be on a carnival diet? Eat better. I'm also, I'm working out pretty much Are you every morning. Yeah. Wait, before work? Yeah. What, like 4.30 a.m.? Yeah, that's when I... My alarm on my phone is 4.30. Um, it's like... Bro, go to sleep. <laughs> what time is it? Go to bed. I just think that... I used to say that you don't need sleep, but I don't think that's true. I think some people don't really need sleep or need as much sleep. Like, if Arnold Schwarzenegger, he literally said he only ever got f- five hours of sleep, clearly not everybody needs eight hours. And I have never felt like the person that needs eight hours. In fact, if I get eight or nine hours, I get significantly more tired. Like I'll at nine hours, I'll want to stay in bed. Yeah. But if I go to bed and I barely crawl, and I go to bed for like three or four hours, it's like I'm so re- I'm so pumped and ready. You're sober, <laughs> but I'm not ready to like I'm not like getting. Well, I don't know about that Arnold thing. That's not. Well, I mean, why would he lie about it? Why wouldn't if There's it wasn't no way healthy? He said that because you have to have. He did. Dude. You can sleep. Google it. You have to have sleep to. Your body needs rest. Some people. I I heard that he would work out in the morning, wake up early, go work out in the morning, go home, eat, and then sleep, <laughs> and then wake up and work out. <laughs> I mean, a lot of those dudes. I don't. I mean, you can literally look it up. He says I've looked it up multiple times. He only got five hours every day. Keep shutting off. <laughs> I hate this thing. There's the. Um, no, I mean, like, look it up. I'll look it up. But you, while I'm looking it up, you can tell me about whatever. 
uh, your New Year's resolutions or goals or whatever things My we... New Year's... Okay, hold on. What's the difference between a resolution and like a goal or like something you want to do? It's the same thing? Mm, I feel like... I just don't like to say resolution because everybody, you know... Yeah. They, uh... Um... What's everybody it does it for four days or whatever. What does it say? Okay, I was off. Arnold Schwarzenegger, sleep faster strategy. His secret to success is simple. Sleep faster. The former Mr. Olympia sleeps just six hours a night. So six sleep instead of five. faster? That's what he says. How? <laughs> so that he has at least 18 hours of productive time during the day. Eight hours? Yeah. I so mean, Trump says he only sleeps four hours. Winston Churchill right here says... Five hours what does Ronnie Coleman say? Huh? Let's look at some famous. He says lightweight. Baby. Ronnie Coleman, five hours. I think he took over Ar- for Arnold as Mr. Olympia. Hmm. Um. Oh, this one's interesting. Did Einstein sleep ten hours a day? Oh, so Smarties and not Biggies were sleeping double. It's so funny because I always heard Einstein slept like ten hours a year. <laughs> Somebody doesn't know what a day is, I guess. Yeah. Well, my I guess my New Year's resolution is to sleep more. I guess I gotta be smart. I gotta be smarty. I was gonna say you already sleep so much. No, I don't. Don't you ever think about it though, like how much you're asleep and like then it kind of does it make you like sad? Yeah, like you're just missing out. I feel sad for those people who go to bed, you know, at like I don't know, twelve like midnight or one a.m. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take these off, dude. My ears are getting so hot. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel bad for those people who go to bed at like twelve or one a.m., wake up at like noon, and then they're still tired. They're like uh, taking a nap at like five. Uh yeah, I, uh, that's something like that happened to me uh, New Year's Day because I stayed up till like two two a.m. Mm-hmm. and woke up got. I guess you can say lunch, but it was it was breakfast for me, and then came back home, and then went to sleep. <laughs> Cause like you know, at what you, time did you go to sleep? Like two a.m. Woke up at like nine thirty. Wow! But I still wanted to. I was still tired, and I know if I went to bed at like eleven, woke up at nine, I would be. I would have been fine. Yeah, makes sense. But still, I don't know. Do you ever? So you, have you ever had a day where you sleep in? Do you feel? more tired when you sleep in yeah i definitely 100%. if i sleep in i feel significantly more tired 100 percent. yeah like, but if you if but if you like that's only if you wake up and you force yourself to go back to bed because but if you wake up it, like naturally you just get up you know you do that you yeah. natural wake mm-hmm. you don't uh, have alarm oh no i mean like on a week on a weekday or a weekend no, i have an alarm I'm saying mm. I don't set my alarm on the weekend, so I just get up and I just when it, do you get it, up? it might not be as late as I want to sleep in. When do you get up on the weekend natural? Eight eight thirty. Do you get up quick or slow? Cause I kinda when I when I wake up, dude, Grace makes fun of me I kinda like rise and alert, dude. I freaking I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. Um, Whatever. I I'll lay there for like ten minutes. But like that first burst of consciousness, do you feel like yoinked or do you feel like? Oh, absolutely not. I, I feel yoinked. I want to stay there. When I get up, it's like I'm scared. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's even if it's a regular movie. day. And the other thing is, is uh, I'll be honest. I do not like waking up and staying in bed. Like, I don't know why it just really irks me. And Grace likes to like, you know, mm. kind of have a chill Sunday morning or whatever. Yeah. And bro, it, I don't, I just feel so lazy. And even, I'm literally going to get up and I'm going to go sit on the couch. <laughs> so it's no different. Or your dad mode's kicking in already. I guess Wake so. up at 5 a.m., take a nap on the on lazy boy, like 3 p.m. Oh, I can't wait for those. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot wait to like have a recliner and never say it's my recliner, but everybody knows Yeah, it's my recliner. And then, dude, I can't, I can't sleep in a recliner, man. I can't for sure. No, I can't. I couldn't do that. I can see you do that. Do you sleep? Do you do you sleep back? Uh, well, I don't know. What's called, just uh, flat? Okay. Or I, you do side? talking about? Okay, so listen to this, bro. I cycle. Like you do every three months or so. I'll switch. Yeah. Because like, 
month three, last day of month three, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping on my back for three months straight. Last day of month three, I'm like, I cannot go to bed. Mm. And then I flip to my stomach and it's like instant. And you then, do stomach too? Well, it's, I'm saying it's a cycle. I flip back and forth. You don't do side? No, I never. Don't ever, I don't ever sleep on my side. Oh, well, I do a lot of side. Really? But I flip. But dude, I love sleeping front. If I <laughs> exposed, <laughs> yeah, front out. No, oh, I mean, you mean like on your back. No, on my front, like fa- pillow facing the on your belly, face facing the pillow. Wait, you don't have. You, wait, when you're on your belly, you don't have your your head to the side like that, dude. No, <laughs> because dude, you know what I do? Like planking when you sleep. <laughs> no, what I do is, and this is kind of psychotic, but I'll push the pillow kind of firmly against the wall, and then I'll. Headboard? Oh, dang, I realize how much this is going to do me dirty. <laughs> what are you doing? But I only put my forehead on the pillow. And so I kind of like, <laughs> I like kind of force myself into the pillow on the wall so that I'm not going to move and that there's just a slight gap. For your mouth to breathe. For my mouth to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, mouth breather in I like I like spear the wall. Oh, dude, I know you drool like crazy. Oh, I do, bro. <laughs> I do drool. Yeah, you have to. You're just breathing through your mouth. I'm, I don't, I don't. I've oh. Oh, like even a little kid dude. I'd wake up in my pillows wet. From slumber. From yeah, from my <laughs> mouth, dude. From my mouth, bro. Oh. I swear. Yeah, I used to be a huge drooler when I was little. You know, growing up, this is disgusting. I love it. I love waking <laughs> up and knowing that I slept good enough to drool. <laughs> like my body just fully gave up on its natural functions. Is <laughs> oh, just. <laughs> My body just conceded to the air. And oh, dude, it's the worst though. Whenever you wake up and like, one of your arms is asleep or whatever. Yeah, you're like, you're like, hitting it on the side of the bed, wake, waiting for it to wake up. It's the worst feeling. I hate that so much. It does suck, dude. Like, a lot of times, uh, my mom has this problem too. I, there's like a name for it, but uh, our my wrists, it'll go numb from the wrist up, and my wrist will really hurt. Cause I'll like sleep in, on when it you're slightly sleeping? weird. Yeah. Oh. And I'm, my hand will be numb <laughs> and it freaking dude, it hurts so bad. My mom, sometimes she used to sleep. I don't know if she still does. She used to sleep with like a wrist guard. So it'd like keep her arm straight. And I was like, that's kind of sick. Cause bad? you just, I was like, yeah, you just wake up and just jack somebody in the face. <laughs> like my dad, my dad twitches so bad when he sleeps, he like kicks my mom. <laughs> really? Yeah. No wonder he doesn't sleep. He's trying to not abuse female. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. I used to twitch bad as a kid, but I don't know if I twitch violently anymore. I know I twitch normal, but not. I remember you twitching a little bit whenever you'd, like, fall asleep at my old house. Like, on the couch or whatever. Grace likes to make fun of me because I'll... (laughs) I don't know. I don't know why I do. I just don't like being... If we're watching a movie, I don't like getting caught falling asleep. And so I'll I'll like try to pretend I'm not asleep. When you are asleep? But I'll be like, Does it work? I'll be going like in and out, you know? Like you're kind of drifting and mm-hmm. then you'll wake up because you're trying to stay awake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'll do that. But then I, I'll perfectly repeat whatever the last line was. Like even if it wasn't that funny, they just said, oh, the goose is out of the house. I'll go, the goose is out of the mm-hmm. house. <laughs> We're literally watching of mice and men, and the guy just dies. Oh, but I don't know what that one is. Well, um, um, the uh, other question that I had, which I don't even know how we got to sleep, but I guess just doing good for twenty twenty four is Grace wanted to know if I I didn't I never thought about this, but when you bathe, were you a washcloth family or a a do was it a do do dooley? I um, duvet toupee. Bro, I'm just blanked on what it's called. It's a isn't it a dooley? A, lo- a loofah. Loofah. A dooley is a on the table or something. I think <laughs> a dooley is a truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, was I a washcloth or a loofah? Loofah or a uh, or just hand? Hand. You're just hand. Yeah. I didn't even know what a loofah was. Grace is trying to say that uh, if you're poor, you'll use washcloth <laughs> and then if you're rich you'll use loofah yeah. and i've never thought about that, that i just figured sense. different yeah. strokes for different folks i don't even i don't even know what a loofah was until like a few years ago it changed your life well i started using it and i was like i have to replace these this is stupid so i just started, not that often well i just it, and they would like 
unravel. So I just started buying. Dang, how much started, are you scrubbing? I'd get in there, dude. Yeah, I'm not trying to stink. Neither am I, but I've never had it just unravel in how long? Did I start bleeding. So, no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, I they I was like, this is kind of a waste of money. So I, I just bought bar soap. It it does the same thing. But do you feel clean? There's a couple problems with bar soap. Bar soap. You can drop it. You can drop it. Mm. And also, it makes your body feel so weird after. It makes it feel like yeah, and there, and there's, dry. There's definitely the 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 double whammy of dropping the soap and then like trying to pick it up, and it's so like slippery. And you're <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> that straight up happened to me one time, dude. I about bit it in my own bathtub. No, you uh, didn't. Yeah, it was it was bad. Bro, imagine you literally die, and your parents have to tell everybody you died trying to pick up the soap. <laughs> dude, dying naked sounds horrible. My dog, uh, he was like, my wife is sick right now. And I think my dog might even have the flu too. I don't know. But he was breathing so heavy last night. And then he would do this thing where he go. (laughs) (laughs) And you're like, hey, 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 hey. hey, hey." Yeah, we go to AA. But I was like, bro, you know how traumatizing it would be if your dog just stopped breathing in front of you? It just dies. Dude. Like, imagine you're like a little kid and everybody's just a little under the weather and your dogs are there. <laughs> and then it's... <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, bro, give me a couple, like, you know, like... <gasps> give me a warning. You know? <laughs> give me give me a couple. <gasps> this is it. Get a couple of grasps for breath real quick. Don't go... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cartoon, Dad, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bro, I was Yeah, just, you gotta like you're like tap it to make sure he's awake. Bro, I don't need do you do you, I don't know if you do you have to like belly up your dog for CPR or can you do it from the side? I have no idea, dude. I'd be doing mouth to mouth. Wake up. It'd be so hard to give a dog mouth to mouth because you gotta get like all the way around his mouth. You know? Oh yeah. Like how are you gonna get You can't all do that? it straight on you. I'd be like, like yeah, how are you gonna <laughs> attack that mouth, bro? I don't know. I just, I've just been, I've been having a good New Year's, bro. Have you? I just, uh. Did we already talk about our, our year? Like our previous year? I don't think yeah. so. Nice uh, best part of my year last year was the Honest Honkies podcast. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding, bro. Oh, okay. This thing sucks. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty garbage. Uh, I'm actually, I'm very happy that I get a chance to talk to you, even though, if, even if it is a stu- stupid podcast, I get to talk to you. Just get to sit down. Don't look at our phones. Just look at each other. Just two straight guys looking each other dead in the eyes. <clears throat> Nothing more sensual than that, bro. What's crazy is that chair is black and your shorts are black, and ninety-seven percent of the time it looks like you ain't wearing shorts. I was going like that in the video for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> to no, me, this way that. it's like whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> About to get an ant eater looking at me. I don't I know. Should have changed pants. Um, it's okay. Yeah, my ear, my ear, my ear was. Sucked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. It sucked. You know, Did, you was know? was this your D Day? Huh? It was D Day this year. What does that mean? Dump day. Huh? You got dumped today. Oh, today? Like a year ago well, today? No, I'm saying 2023. Was mm-hmm. that the dump? Yeah. Dump year. Yeah. Um. Well, not only that, but it ended pretty horribly too. Uh, really? You had a bad New Year's? No, no, no. The end to the year. Like, what happened? You know, you, okay, I think we did talk about this because cause last time we were talking about this, I was like, I'm just ready for the year to be over, you know? Start yeah. the new thing. Well, it definitely ended. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so I uh, I woke up Saturday last week, last weekend, mm-hmm. and was doing my regular, like, my errands to run. I was going to get groceries. And, okay. And... Um, all uh walmart doesn't take apple pay so i had to get like, a credit card for that and so i went to where my credit card is in my wallet and then i open up my wallet and there's no cash in there you got robbed you got pickpocketed <laughs> and i was like this doesn't make any sense so i was like maybe it fell out you know no somewhere. way and so i look around and there it's not anywhere to be found and uh and i was like trying to think about it in my brain like where it could have happened because that Friday, the day before, I was only at two places the whole day. I was at work and I was at the gym. And uh, <gasps> you and, did, did you lock your? Oh. 
and I was and I was thinking about it because I I gave one of my coworkers a one hundred dollar bill from my wallet. For what? For Christmas? No, no, no. It was I was paying him back from a friend. Oh, okay. So I I knew I had all the money in my wallet then. A hundred dollars, at least. At least it, I know how much it was. It was like a little over two hundred dollars in there. Oh. And so left. <laughs> and so, um, I was like, because there's only one other guy at work that could have stolen it. Cause do you got thieves at work? Well, apparently not. Cause I, I talked to the security guys and they had, oh, the, they had the video cause there's a thing right next to my desk. Yeah. And, uh, he looked through like the whole four hours of footage and was like, no, nobody, nobody came up to your bag. Uh huh. So it's not from work. So I had to be at the gym. Um, which is crazy because Dude, I, lo- but don't you lock? I lock my stuff. Somebody knew my password. You think somebody looked over your shoulder? 100%. There's no other way they would have gotten in there. You don't remember anybody that was around you while you were locking? Oh, I mean, I lock it when I go in there and I lock it. I know, but like who was, you don't, you didn't like, like those kind of things burn in my mind. I I know who I lock my stuff next to. I mean, I, I can think of two people. That's so hard though. What? Those numbers are not that big. I know. And you scrambled it after. Mm-hmm. That sounds almost impossible, dude. Well, Unless they just... Needless to say, I changed the code again <laughs> to something different. But I'm like, so that's why all my money is on my nightstand. <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't want to I don't want to carry cash anymore because I got, I got robbed last year and the year before. Yep. That's why I don't carry cash. It's, that's my New Year's resolution, bro. Not to get robbed. <laughs> Please don't rob me, y'all. Bro, please rob this man. Pull up. I'll tell you where his apartment is. Rob him. (laughs) At gunpoint, dude. Throw my address. (laughs) Dude. Oh, my goodness. I, yeah, I don't carry. Dude, this, I need to, this year needs to end right now. I don't carry cash for, because of one time I lost, I feel like I lost a lot of money. I remember that. I don't. you, You used to carry, like. A couple bands in your wallet. I used to. It'd be that thick. I know. I thought it was funny to carry around a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah. So you stupid. You lost it all. It's so stupid, dude. The kids are so stupid. But I don't like that, and I don't. You lose money. You have to lose money with change, bro. Because nobody, no way, anybody gets all of their pennies. Two, two percent cash back on a card. If it, if that was the same with cash, you two percent. You're not getting your cash back. Because you're dropping a couple of pennies here and there. Ain't no way, dude. Anybody's got a 100% win rate with cash and getting all their change. I have no idea what you just said, but... <laughs> I don't like carrying cash because you know he's giving me these stupid coins. Oh, you should only like carry Yeah, but because you, you're 100% going to lose them. Yeah. Well... Nobody keeps track of all these quarters and stuff. Well, I, I usually don't carry cash or that much cash on me, but that was all Christmas money. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, bro. Stuff. I know. But whatever it's over now. At least yeah. I didn't steal my... So it seems maybe a little still raw. No, dude. It's a new year. It's a new me. So... I mean... Maybe... You know what else at the gym, dude? May, may, well, hold on. Maybe... This is why I like to think when I get robbed. You've been robbed? Yeah, I'm, I got that... Backpack stolen from me. You remember that? Mm-hmm. When? I had uh, my camera bag with uh, so much stuff in it. Uh, I left my car unlocked at work. And oh yeah, this I, is not that re- this is not that long ago. And it had to be less than two years, maybe a year and a half. Yeah, I remember this. MacBook, DSLR camera, couple lenses. Yeah, I never, and I know for a fact who stole it too. To you know who? I know what they look like because they they were outside of the work every single day. Just these two teenage hobo kids, mm-hmm. because there was a homeless ch- kind of like shelter next door, and they would give the kids food and in condoms and stuff for <laughs> whatever reason. And I was like. And these two kids were always out back and they were always were littering and they were always leaving bags of Duke just right next to our place. Ew. And I was like, dude, how can we not tell these guys to get out, and out of here? Better work this is a freaking workplace, dude. Go find a bridge. 
I know for a fact they stole it. Because I just, they, I mean, they would have seen every day. Dude gets in his car. They're just scouting it out. Ten, yeah, I mean, all of a sudden I got a backpack. And, I mean, what a score for them. Yeah, that's the same thing happened to me at Chili's. <laughs> yeah. Stole my laptop, my camera, and everything. <sighs> Did you ever claim insurance? Yeah, I got a little bit, a little bit of money back for it. Praise God. Not as much as what was in there, but still. Something. Well, yeah, New Year's, don't get robbed. That's our resolution. Don't get robbed, y'all. Uh, what would my other resolutions be? I'm eating better. I'm working out. Working out. Are you going to be like, um, okay, would it be beneficial to you to be consistent with your workouts by filming them and posting them online? I thought about doing that, but it's so, I can't, like, I can do this, but, like, any self-improvement stuff documenting makes me cringe so hard. Yeah. It's so hard. Like, I even thought about doing the, you know how Jocko does the, he takes pictures of his watch? Mm -hmm. It makes me cringe so hard. Even that? Yeah. Because it's like, I feel like if you're really doing it, you'll never talk about it. I kind of feel the same way. I mean, like, fitness influencers? Oh, dude, gag. Yeah. Like hundred percent. Obviously, they're doing it for to get brands or whatever and promote things. Yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I was in the gym this week, Sorry. Tuesday. I was in the gym Tuesday, and there was this guy. So, so some people in my gym will have their little their mini tripod set up so they can film themselves, and <sighs> it'd be super obnoxious. It's because they're in the way of everything. Yeah. And you know, you know, everybody there just like hates them. They like give them the side eye and everything. I mean, let's and for the folks at home, and this is not the gym to be recording at. Like, it's a nice gym, but it's always packed. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's not a high membership. Like, okay, thanks. For that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna record well, at my a gym, gym, sucks, you guys. I got robbed there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <It's> like, <laughs> that's the kind of gym he's working at, bro. Yeah. So um, it's not a recording gym. No. If you're at it's Lifetime, definitely not. That's one thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, and, and most of the time these guys who are recording and girls, they, they're not lifting like a lot of weight, you know, <laughs> obviously the women do it, <laughs> the women do it for, to, for the attention they get. From yeah. It's always from the stuff. back. Yes. The, yeah. Of and course. The guys, you know, try to get it, try to, you know, um, for how much weight they can do. But sometimes they just don't do much, but okay. But there was just one guy. I love that you're there. triggered about the weight. Huh? I love that you're triggered about the way you're like, bro's not even pushing three bills. No, I'm just saying it's sometimes it's like nothing. I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, this guy on Tuesday, we were, there's squat racks, you know, at my gym and they face each other. Yeah. And so the guy in front of me on the squat rack, super awkward, but yeah. Yeah. This guy in front of me on the squat rack, um, started lifting like his warm up boy was pretty, pretty high. And I was like, okay. And that's when he respect. started, I started got peaking, respect, bro. And then he pulled out his phone and his little tripod thing right next to it. And he had, I think, five plates on each end for deadlifts. And I was like, okay. Almost 500? Um, 495? It's, it's over 500. 45 times 10 is 450 plus the oh, bar? 495. Yeah. Well, no, he actually did 500 because he had 2.5 in the end. So he, I think it was his PR. Actually, it was not because it's so funny because he was using the wrong barbell. He was using the half-pound barbell. So it was like half the weight of a regular size, what? which I didn't know. I didn't know if he knew that or not. <laughs> so he was kind of cheating. But anyway, I told everybody he did 500 too. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, but he, he sets up his phone to film and he, and he doesn't get it. He, he, does he fail hard? He fails. <laughs> and, and I was like, dude, I know, like, I'm so embarrassed, bro. And if, I'm like feeling kind of bad for him. And then, uh, but it's still, I mean, it's a lot of weight. Was I mean, it bad though? Like, did it make a loud sound? And I mean, he didn't really get up that high. He didn't get past knee, I don't think. Oh, okay. So he pretty much instantly failed. Yeah. Dang. I mean, he was doing a lot of reps before that. But so I'm still doing my, my squats or deadlifts or whatever. And then a little later, he goes in for a second try. And he fails again. <laughs> <laughs> and so I know the walk of shame back to like his tripod where he lays the, in the video and not post it. That has to be a horrible feeling. Bro, I would. And then, hold on. It gets better, bro. No. It gets better. So he, so he's like, all right, I'm not going to film anymore. So he doesn't film the net, his next set. So he's just going to try it without filming, right? And so he, he's got those, um, 
those little plastic clamps you put on the end to like keep the weight on. Oh yeah. He's at the edge, right? Yeah. He's at the very edge. So I can see his plastic clamps like hanging off the edge. Ooh. And so he goes up. <laughs> so he tries it a third time, bro. And he goes up for like, like that. And then he, <laughs> one of the clamps falls off. <laughs> and, and, and he's just going, <laughs> doo, 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 doo. <laughs> as the plates fall off the edges, bro. And I'm just sitting, I'm just standing there like this guy, bro. <laughs> he just has to leave. It's that strike three. And it, Dang, that's it a bad been, gym day. Yeah. Holy it, cow. It was so embarrassed. I was embarrassed for him. But uh, I was like, man, that is just that's poetic. Man. Did you hear any chuckles out of the corner? People looking at him and oh, snickering. No, I was trying to get out of there. Bro, <laughs> if I did do gym content and I was like, look at me, I'm working out, it would 100% be blooper reels. That'd be awesome, gym content. Like I'm in here every day, but I'm also um, you'd post that. I'm failing every day. You'd post that where you the things fall off the ends. Bro, I need to do that. I need to post every day. <laughs> this is the set I failed. I mean, on. it's realistic. Like it happens to everybody. But I think you if you're doing it right, it. you should always fail. Maybe always. Like Sam, doesn't he Solik or whatever? Doesn't he always go to failure? Oh, you mean? I thought you meant like messing up, like. The not as not off. as bad as the weights falling off, okay. but at least like well, getting rocked. Failure is a is a type of regimen, but that's the only way to do it, dude. You're gonna get in there and not fail. Come on, dude. Um, <laughs> says me when I my workouts have literally. <laughs> I, I downloaded a stretching app. I'm not <laughs> okay. This is gonna be so bad, Bro, dude. This is gonna put. You're just calling yourself out again. I'm calling myself out. <laughs> I my workouts have been I downloaded a stretching app to get to get warmed up. A little bit. Whoa, 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 chill, bro! You go, you put that way down. Did I? But okay. Because we've been clipping like the uh, whole time. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, dang, that you messed. Anyways, uh, so I downloaded a stretching app mm-hmm. to warm up, right? You stretch to warm up? Yeah, just get I get warm, like, you know, get my body warm. It's four thirty in the morning, dude. I can't just go straight hard. Okay. And Where are you working out? and I start at my office. They have a oh. really horrible gym. Little small one. And yeah. I get going and it's a fifteen minute warm up and five minutes in I'm like, This is probably a good workout. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Because it's having me, it's having me do like planks and crunches and stuff. I'm like, I thought this was just stretching, and so now I've just been, <laughs> I've just been doing the, the stretching as warming up or as my workout. <laughs> but dude, I'm out of like I'm, I'm feeling it at the end, dude. Like even my legs have been crazy sore. Really? Yeah. I'm also, I've been hearing the one thing I do like that Joe Rogan talks about is he's, he does like a lot of like, uh, maybe kind of. I don't know how to explain it, like swinging motions with kettlebells and and oh. just stuff that kind of like makes your body move. Like not the insane stuff where people are like jumping. Yeah. Like that's stupid. That's how you get hurt. But I think I'm going to do more like – like I was holding a medicine ball up and I was kind of doing that. I was kind of rotating it in the air. Yeah, there's that. Because it kind of like strengthens your core and I think it would be good to be like more agile maybe. Yeah, there's that kind of type of training where it's like just carrying things. Yeah. Which is like practical, practical. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm very trainer. practical, dude. I'm a very practical trainer. Like, I, mean, I want to get in there. I don't want to. carry over there? Just I don't want to do a lot of weight. weight. I want to get my planks down. I want to get some crunches, you know. <laughs> nothing right. major, but also nothing minor. Well, maybe you'd shoot for 30 minutes next time. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> also, dude, I was doing push ups and I was like, dude, I'm going to bang out 20, dude. I want to bang him out. Bro, you can't get twenty. Bro, twelve oh. was twelve was rough, dude. Man, I did twenty, but twelve, I was like, <laughs> "Yo, somebody put these." Who put this weight on me? <laughs> somebody put these hitters on me, son. That's I mean, crazy. Uh yeah. So, but well, we're getting in there, dude. That's what's important. Yeah, that's that's what's important. And I don't even I don't even gotta be ripped. I just gotta be in. I gotta be moving my body. Mm-hmm. I'll be moving my body, eating better, and it'll be okay. Yeah. And if it's not okay, then I'll end it, bro. I'll end it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a wise man once told me, Sensei. Sensei once told me. Sensei. Um, Master the Mike. The most important part about the gym is going into the gym. It's the hardest thing to do. 
Amen. just to be in there. It's crazy how so much like I'll get in there and I will, even if I don't do anything crazy, if I literally work out for 15 minutes, the rest of my day, I'm like, I'm a beast. I'm like, I did. And, I but just stretch for 15 minutes. But Let's it's like go. A, but it's like a good. Who um, wants me? It's not a arrogant I'm a beast. It's like, you know, I can do things. I can, I can do hard things. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's and, a good well, kind of beast. And that's the feeling that you get addicted to. That's the feeling that you want to. That's the feeling you want every day. I don't ever get addicted to it. Okay. But, but I guess for me. Maybe after a couple months, I'll start getting addicted to it. But every day I wake up and I'm like, this is the last thing I want to do. Oh. Well, in the morning. Like, this is absolutely. I can think of 137 <laughs> reasons not to go. That's uh. I I was talking to my boss the other day about um, the cold plunge. And is he a fit gentleman or? He is very fit. Yeah. Okay. He um he said he went he went on vacation to Austin last week, and went to the mothership. <laughs> is that what Joe's? The the club. Club. He said he was going to go there, but it was sold out. It's, it's sold out for like six months. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. No, he went to some like wellness center or whatever for the cold plunge. So mm-hmm. he did the sauna and the cold plunge and he did like cycle a couple of times. Wow. And with a buddy. And he said Joe Rogan's gym is actually right next door. But they didn't go in there for some reason. But he was saying how they like kind of sound like a little foo-foo, you know, like you can walk around with shoes on in there because it's all about grounding, you know. And they had like psychedelic and it was all like. I, yeah, I don't like the psychedelic dude, but the more I hear about grounding, it makes a lot of sense. Like, I feel like if you're, bo- I feel like God didn't ever want our bodies to shock. You to know, shock. when you get a little. Oh, uh, well. What's it called? I, don't know, I feel like if you got electric that, current. If you got that much energy in you, dude, you got, you're doing something wrong. Well, it's kind of cool, though, to just be like have, you know. It's cool. Pokemon powers. It's cool, but you think God wants that much energy in you, dude? Yeah. I mean, I literally, I've been. Bro, I was really scared to touch that Loki. Uh, you gotta like, you gotta it, like touch. do the carpet. Yeah, touch it. Hold on, dude. Let me get, let me get wired up. For our audio <sighs> listeners, he's rubbing his feet on the carpet and he's about to touch. I'm getting close. The C-span that's metal. I'm getting close. <laughs> You're about to blow up the house. Oh, I heard it. Oh. No, dude, I didn't get nothing. Okay. Dude, you know when I was a kid, I was always chasing a dragon. Do you know what my dragon I was chasing? Bro, I had these sheets telekinesis that were always super static and i would i would freaking get i would get in my room i would turn the lights off so it's super dark make sure all the blinds are closed and i'd freaking bump all the sheets up i kind of like fling them up and sometimes there'd be 17 crackle pops in there and it'd be like a mini fireworks show (laughs) and i was chasing that dragon dude because some nights it wouldn't happen you know what i'm saying (laughs) (laughs) so I was always, dude, I was fiending for the... Dude, you're just telling on yourself the whole episode. What's that What's that called, dude, when you shock something, a little electric? It's called a uh, static. Yeah, dude, that, but the... I'm serious, dude, my blanket would have, like, 17 little statics happen whenever I, I jerk it up, and you just say, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and, dude... You see it? Yeah, dude, it would turn. It would make my room bright. That's crazy. Like and I was chasing that, Catch dude. on fire or something. I was chasing that dragon. Well, I mean, I didn't have a lot to chase when I was a little caught kid. It. I mean, that was it. Well, but thank you for that. Sorry. Thank uh, you for that childhood story. You know, what, you know what other dragon I'm chasing right now? <laughs> right now, what? Dude, it's it's got me. It's got my attention, bro. What is it? I'm going back on and YouTube. All of the full episodes of um, Nightmare Kitchen and Hotel Hell and all those with Gordon Ramsay. Full 45 minute episodes are on YouTube. It's so funny, bro. Just these owners that he's like, you know what it is? Like the show? Kind of. I don't he really like, watch cooking shows. Gordon, he goes in there and he he goes in there and he gets them to serve them their food. And he says every time, says dreadful, horrible, disgusting. And he says. Where's the lamb sauce? Yeah, he goes, just tells them, just ruins their day, dude. Just yeah. absolutely mullers them. Well, that's a, that's his character, right? Yeah, but, but sometimes you do see the food and you're like, yeah, that's horrible. Mm. And then, but the best part is it's never just about bad food. Like the the owners, they always have some weird personal problem too. <laughs> and so like every time it's like, we're here to rescue the kitchen nightmare of 
uh, pitas, a taste of Italian. And then they like go into the, the store and it's like, if we don't fix this business, I'm pretty sure we're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's so funny. Every episode, it's like, it's usually always an Italian family and it's just the most dysfunctional. Why is it always Italian, bro? Uh, bro, I don't know. There was like this one guy that was just, he's, uh, the thing that Gordon kept getting mad at him is he was like the owner and he would just hang around and try to manage. But every 10 minutes he's like, uh, get, get, uh, Tony, get me an espresso, dude. I need a, get, get, give me a cocktail. And he's just, he's just, he's walking around the store. They're like mid rush hour and he's uh, somebody, get, somebody give me an iced tea. And it's, it, oh it's just goodness. it's never like just the food is bad or the service is bad it's always like if if, if we don't get the restaurant together like ah, we're gonna have to abort the baby right. <laughs> you're like whoa <laughs> the mortgage do i have to give it the, i'm gonna have to give it the kids <laughs> there's this there's this finance bro and he bought a restaurant dude literally the his line was Ah, uh, yeah, I've never really been in the restaurant business. I just, uh, I go to restaurants so much that I figured why not just buy one so I have one to go to. And I was like, okay. Dude. And then he was like, uh, but now uh, it's about to go bankrupt. And since I'm in the finance industry, if I go bankrupt, I lose my job. <laughs> I was like, this, yeah. is, this is so depressing, bro. Oh my goodness. It was, I don't know, I was having. So you're watching these every all, day? All the time. During work? Oh, no, no, no. no. Mm-hmm. I watch them. I watch them uh, with Grace. Yeah. I watched like probably like, three of them last night, and three. I put them on while I'm driving. I don't. But <laughs> I, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm just like listening to Gordon, and he's dude. Love him or hate him, bro. That man can roast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he'll put you on the chopping Pretty block. Good at it. And dude, a lot of these owners are like, they're completely deranged. Like, they'll say, they're like, what do you mean the food's bad? It's, like, good. And he's like, are you serious? It's, and, car- it's cardboard. And, and he's telling him it's horrible. All the waiters are like, we don't even want to serve this food. It's so bad. And, like, sometimes it'll be, there'll be, like, a partnership, and the other partner is saying, this is horrible. And the guy's like, it's good, dude. And you see him, like, take a bite. He's, and like, he's like, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. Well, this sounds like a lot of these people are very delusional. Very delusional, and kind of scripted, almost a little too unrealistic. I don't, I don't know because, and that's the Thanks other for thing. Thanks good TV. That's the other thing I'm. I don't understand is like, how do these people get filmed and then still act so wild? I mean, you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you are that guy. Yeah, but how do you tell like Gordon Ramsay, the best, one of the best chefs in the world? My food's you're good. Wrong. Like, how do you say he's wrong? It's so delusional. It makes no sense. I don't know. Like, to I just feel be like, like it's kind of scripted. I don't think most you, TV. I mean, why? Do. That'd be a weird thing to script. Isn't that a reality show? I mean, most reality shows are scripted. So. I think it's real, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think they just find insane families. I, I mean, that's why I said that's always an it Italian family case. too. <laughs> and that, like every time, it's on with the lamb saw. I saw this one. Uh, the only time it was an Italian family was uh, Mexican. No, it was like regular kind of regular know, white foot. <laughs> the regular color. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, my bad. No, no, That's no, no. Crazy. Don't take me down. <laughs> no, it just like I was saying. I wasn't gonna say regular. I was just saying just regular old white folk. Like okay, just nothing special about them. Just blank sheets. Okay. And, but the thing is, they had a French chef, uh-huh. and he was heavy French. Like you could barely understand him. Okay. And he was just a just a liar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's like, "Did you put these in the fryer?" And he's like, "He's like, oh, see, well, not the fryer." <laughs> 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 and he just was constantly lying. I don't know. It was just the most French person I've ever seen. Wow, aren't French people like kind of notorious liars? Yeah, dude. City of love, dude. Multiple loves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. They had to practice lying a lot. I mean, I've never met a French person that told me the truth. I never even met a French person. Mm, you don't. Up. You don't want to, dude. Maybe on something. Well, that's good to know about the show. I'd. Uh, you said it's free. Yeah, dude. Mm. All of them are on YouTube. Yeah, I need to. It's I'm, I've been trying to find a new show to watch because. Put that on tonight, dude. Tonight? No, not tonight. Put tonight. That on. Tonight's something else. Um. 
Yeah, dude, I've been uh, I've been watching The Simpsons as like a filler, and I know there's like forty thousand seasons of that show. Haven't know. you watched it all? Dude, there's forty seasons. But you watched it forever. The Simpsons? Yeah. Not consistently. I should do that's. It's a really funny show. It's like it's funny, but it's very funny. I mean, you got to be losing your brain. Yeah, apparently Jordan Peterson watches it for fun. I've heard that. I think it's, it's hilarious. Weird. It's weird when smart people do like kind of funny stuff. <laughs> It's Dude, like, did you see his? Did you see his uh his family picture for Christmas? Bro no. was dripped out in his oh, robe. Oh, in his robe. Yeah. yeah, he had the velvet robe on. That is Bro, so funny. His house funny. looks pimp too. Oh, dude, I'm sure he's got. I mean, it's like mansion. Jordan, he's a weird character because he does. Um, apparently, he does a, a lot of music. Like he likes to write songs, compose songs, or whatever. His uh, son-in-law does. I think he does too, but and. I think he tries to like mix metal and classic. He's, he's really, he's kind of a funny fellow. I can't do it, dude. I got, I got a Canadian really good accent, one. dude. This yeah. too, dude. I'm seeing this every day. What is that? Just people getting engaged. Why do people get engaged on the on the beginning of a new year? What is that? Mm-hmm. What's the point of that? I don't know. I don't think I would like that. I've seen like five. I'm not kidding. Five people on my uh, my feed. Maybe guys are just bad planners. They're not smart enough to think, hey. Big boy. You don't want to have Christmas, New Year's, and an anniversary all in the same month. I guess. I don't know. Seems like something that guys ever like. I think mine is. When did you propose? I in think May? In, in March or... March. Maybe it's May. I remember when you told me you were going to propose. I remember the night of, dude. I was like, dude, we were we were, <laughs> we were about to leave IHOP. <laughs> Did I, I was getting in my car and you're like, oh, by the way, I'm proposing tomorrow. I was no, like, I, I was like, uh? <laughs> no, bro. I didn't say it like that. Well, I don't know how it went. I just remember it was outside an IHOP and I was full on the cake and you're just like, I'm popping a question later. Dang. I was like, what? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I mean, I was like, you know, they never say just wait with the fish on the line you know like if it's there you gotta snag that thing if it's a good fish dude reel her in you wanna see a good uh fish hook what you wanna see a good fish hook yeah I guess so <laughs> <laughs> did you make that that's for Camden that's what Camden sent me earlier and that's what you read Oh, <laughs> she couldn't resist <laughs> oh anyway I can't show that on YouTube um, sorry guys um well, I uh, I finally finished the audiobook that I was reading. JP's? The fiction one. Jordan Peterson? No, the fiction one. What was that one? Uh, the Great me? Gatsby. Oh, did you ever figure out what was going on? Kind of. What is that? Uh, I didn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to read. I had to read the last chapter twice because I was so confused. But. Yeah, that's always tough. I gotta watch. Like, I gotta watch movie now because I gotta figure out what's going on. It's really sad, like whenever you read the book and then you're like, "I think I know what happened," and then you watch <laughs> the, the, the movie little. and you realize you don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it's over, dude. I I don't know about reading fiction books. Like, just you just gotta me. try a couple different ones, different kinds. Yes. Try some space time or colonial. Yeah. Or colonial French. I guess. I gotta get back in JBP though. My Did you? Dude. So you like? I told you I'm doing the the flip flop. I'm doing nonfiction, fiction, nonfiction, fiction. Yeah. This year, so it's like. Is was the JP books like one of the best ones you read? Do you think? Oh yeah, it was really good. Twelve Rules for Life. Check it when out. When I when I read it, I was like, dang. I I I don't know. This is. One of the things I maybe wrote down, but I was like, if you are, like, the greatest superpower might be communication. If you can communicate, dude, you can do a lot. Yeah. Like. It is. Because if you can com- communicate, you don't even have to be right. <laughs> like, if you're a good enough communicator. Well, we clearly aren't. No. We're dude. struggling right now, you guys. We are barely pulling through. But look at this mixer. We got a oh mixer, yeah, we got our mixer working. 
it's it's so actually on this time. You guys can see the cords going through. Hopefully the audio works or it's, sounds it's a lot not, better. It's not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh well. what do you think? Do you think, is there a better superpower than communication? Besides a laser beam? Just <sighs> probably freezing time or slowing down time. Maybe getting time? rid of time. Because I always find myself with no, with no time. That is true. You know. So it's that's that's my struggle, dude. Just not enough time. Just day. getting home and. Dude, it's, yeah, I'm thinking about it. it's crazy for you because you're just like never home. It's really depressing whenever you don't see the sun for a day. <laughs> like people yeah. talk about seasonal depression, and it's like okay, maybe you know, but yeah, it's you're, just you're in it. I'm not in it. I just like, it's not even like seasonal depression. It's just like sad that I just missed a day. You're looking real ghostly. You need, you need, a, you need some I sun on you. Right now, you need some I, sun I on you. I need God's, God's solar flare to hit me. You need that vitamin D. Dang, boy. dude, I'm white. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, I just know. You got the, you're the same shade as your shirt, kind of. Oh, crap, dude. <laughs> well, it's ghostly, Camp Apache, man. so that's got to be tan. Ghostly. Right? What's that? Camp Apache? Is that Fat Camp? This is Fat Camp. Really? Actually, yeah. <laughs> That is actually fact. Still fits you, bro. So it didn't work. Dang it, <laughs> dude! It says 2015. I didn't realize I went to that camp when I was wow. 13 years old. Man, that was forever and a half ago, dude. 2015. You know what I was doing when I was 13? I have no idea. Not a dang thing, <laughs> dude. I sucked. <laughs> You're going to Mainers class. No, dude. I was actually probably doing more stuff when I was 13 than now. Oh yeah, I dude. Was football, baseball, Camp Apache, Boy yeah. Scouts. No, dude, Don't I was telling on yourself again. <laughs> I, was a, I was a freaking entrepreneur when I was thirteen. I was making money moves. You were literally making money. Time, well, now you're fourteen. Time waited on me. <laughs> I didn't wait on time. Yeah, bro. I freaking miss just. <sighs> when you're a kid, you don't think about time that much. Maybe that's why it's so nice being a kid. It's like, th- well, you do think about time, but you just like there's so much of it. You know, you got to do it an hour nap or whatever your parents do and it's just the longest thing ever mm-hmm. like when you're a kid you're just the only thing you have too much of is time and everything you know then you want the car you want the job you want the you know the you br- want to grow up you want yeah unfortunately no I'm just kidding but you it's not unfortunate you know what you trade out dude you trade out the ticker tick tock uh, time be slipping I'm already a quarter done, dude. If it's on a <sighs> dude, you're good telling line. me. You're telling me, dude. A quarter done. You're, <sighs> you're dagging a third done. No, don't say that, bro. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Makes me that. Nah, I'm se- I'll have seasonal depression if you keep talking about that, bro. This that is what I wrote down. That is. That's it. What, no. <laughs> just thinking about dying. I like to think about dying. I like to think about. <laughs> Like I always said, I don't. I never want my funeral to be sad, dude. If anybody's sad at my funeral, kick them out. I swear. I can't go then. Party, dude. Dude, no, no. I can't go. Nobody's allowed to be sad at my funeral. I can't go, dude. Why not? Why? Why would I be happy? You're gone. Not happy. You're just like, just like that was a, that was a good life. That's up to you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that okay. That's up to you. That's why I wrote down. I said. I would like to be someone that it matters when I die. That. Oh. Like, yeah, okay. I remember, like, I, okay. I just like. Like a lot of people, they'll die and their family is sad. But. I don't know. Like, I, know I want. what you're trying to say. I want, to s- I want it to affect people's lives when I die. Like. I was like a lot of people or like a lot of people a select few. I think that's a good goal. I think like if but the reason why I started thinking about this is because Dave Ramsey is was, is was really random, but he was talking about how he's old, like Dave Ramsey's old and he needs to pass his business off to the next generation. And he was saying it's like actually a hard thing to change. Basically, like his business is literally was called Dave Ramsey and then they changed it to Ramsey Solutions even though he's still working there. But it's like a big deal for somebody to come into his job and change it and to continue like making people debt free or whatever. 
and just do and having the business that he has. And I was like, dang, it's like actually a big deal if he dies. Like there's a there's a significant amount of people that if he died, you know, his business wouldn't would maybe fail if he if he hadn't trained people up yet and would their people wouldn't be getting help with you know their finances and that's just like a stupid small thing but i was like i would like for if i died that's not a small thing though it's like i'm just saying one area like it doesn't have to be a, a finance it could just be like like if i died you know maybe i was like a mentor or something to like a lot of people like i don't know even even something as silly as like if I was do, running like a Bible study or something, like if I died, I actually affected somebody's week. I don't know. This is a hard concept to explain. Well, that's not. And I'm a bad communicator, so I don't have a su- superpower. That's not affecting a lot of people, like you said. It's affecting like one person. No, like multiple. Like if well, I was said, running like a big someone. Bible study. You know, I I want to do those kinds of things. I don't want people to just be sad when I'm when I die. I want them to be like, oh, thank. Well, Shane's I think that's dead. inevitable. For, I mean, you guys can be sad, but I also want I want like things to actually people are like, oh dang, Shane was taking care of a lot of stuff, you know, and he wasn't just like being an old person that was retired and just mm-hmm. you know milking it. Yeah, that. <clears throat> I feel like that's a good goal. It is, and I think it kind of, it kind of. uh is the same as my resolution, which I didn't really get to say. Sorry. <laughs> it's you, you can keep going on no. your resies. Well, my resolution is, is basically to, like, stay focused on my purpose, which I think is kind of is kind of what you're saying about, like, being remembered. Because if you're, if you're just, like, focused on just being better, really, and yeah. doing your purpose then like not much is going to stop you if anything yeah and like the other alternative is just like like now that I'm thinking back to it like a lot of my and not exactly but a lot of my New Year's resolutions that I said were kind of like they only really affected kind of one person like if if I'm eating healthy and I'm you know taking care of my body it's like it directly affects me and then kind of affects my family, you know, like if I'm not able to be healthy for my family, like provide for them or yeah. whatever. But it's like not that big of a deal. All right. It is, but it's not like. I would say it's a pretty big deal. It's not like. Uh, I'd say it's a big deal in the fact that like taking care of yourself, like if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of, take care of somebody else. Right. That's true. Yeah. So like in, in your case, you have a wife. So you have somebody pr- to protect now. Yeah, dude. So it's like... And I'm going to be honest, dude. If somebody... I mean, if somebody... Say it, if somebody If somebody came at me, dude, I might have to do a run strategy. I might See, have that's... To. I know it's a joke, but that's like... That's not good, bro. You I'm just kidding. Dude, any... Listen, listen, listen to me right now on this podcast. If any man comes at me, dude, I will... I will end dev- you. <laughs> I will devour you, dude. I will take you. you eat <laughs> I will take you to the darkest place on place on Sixth Street. I will look into your eyes, and you will see no other man but my eyes staring back at you. If you come between me and my family, I will take you to the bottom of Hades. I'll take you. And you know what I'll do, dude? I'll beat you, and then at the end, I'll be breathing heavy because this is with everything I had. And that'll be the fight. The that'll be the greatest fight of thirty seconds you've ever seen. <laughs> I will take you into the pits. Dude, you got the, what is that? Like the old adage of, of the mom lifting the, ba- the <laughs> car off her baby. That's just you. You're yeah, just like, dude. You got the adrenaline going. You're just like, oh. I don't need to work out. Dude, I'll let that adrenaline spike hit. Yeah, man. And I'll break Ooh. some bones too, bro. Dude, you know that, that adrenaline spike you get when you about get into a wreck in a car? You're just like, you're just gripping the steering wheel so hard. Just like, oh, yeah, yeah dude, I felt But But in the moment, you're like, that was weird. I felt and then it comes moment. later and you're like, Ooh. <laughs> Dude, drive. That's like every single day for me now that I drive a manual. <laughs> I, can't, I, s- I can imagine. It's so freaking scary sometimes. Oh, and especially sometimes in this area. Like you know how you catch yourself 
sometimes maybe you're driving, you do something kind of stupid. I forgot to shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But in a manual, it's exaggerated. Like, if you forget any little thing, you're like, oh, go, don't, go, don't, go, don't, go, don't, go. <laughs> Like, you're just, you're smoking your tires or. Like, yeah. you have to just be so focused. I don't know. That's good, though, for you at least. Yeah. I haven't. It's been weird not having texted and drive driving and, like, I actually did it for the first time today because my B-reel went off. And I said, oh, oh shoot. Oh, I saw that. I said, oh, shoot, dude. This is my moment. <laughs> get it. If I die now, it's for, at least it's for a good cause. At least, it's, at least I'm being real. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Do you think you... You know how they did the B-reel? Like uh, the the realest person? Oh, I did You think that. if the person died, do you think that would have been the B-realist? <laughs> it's like they're getting shot with an arrow and it's like right before it <laughs> penetrates them. Like, post... <laughs> Uh, dude, I feel like the the realest be real would be getting one like on my bike, yeah. like off the toll road. Ooh, that's just scary as crap, dude. Just, could you? Could you? Because your phone's in like a holster. Could you I hold could on to it. your phone while you're riding? You think I could do it? Because you just need one. Like if you're coasting, right? Just on like you the would highway. drop that though. It's a lot of wind. No. Well, it'd be a lot of wind, but I wouldn't drop it. They just have one so arm, one hand on the throttle and then one heart, one hand, you know, taking the picture. That'd be so scary. Oh, that'd be so scary. Yeah, I see videos. Sam sends me videos of these guys, like, um, on motorcycles driving underneath like semis. I'm like, I can I cannot comprehend the amount of dumb going on there, and like going under like you know the big tractors that have like the huge clearance underneath them. Oh it's yeah. It's like a box. Oh, I, I want to do that so bad. Wrong. I've seen people do it with a car, like a low car, oh, bro. Dude. I, w- I would, I would want to do that. To the one I saw, it was driving that way and the car was going the same way and he just drove right under it. Like he was passing, but underneath. Oh, I thought you meant like there was a head on collision. No, no. Just, <laughs> oh, that would be insane. Yeah. No, but I also saw on like a, you, they do those bike rallies where there's like a, a lot of ghetto people. And this dude had an ATV in one of the bike rallies. Uh-huh. And he popped a wheelie on the ATV, ATV, and his wife is hanging out the back, and he went a little too low. Bro, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Burned off her the butt part of her pants, and her, her cheeks were bleeding. I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> he he straight up instantly road rashed her cheeks. Oh, oh! oh I was like. Cause he's going fast. I mean, yeah, he's doing dude. wheelie going fast, and she's like, and you can see her like tap him, like get up, <laughs> dude. Hopefully, she had a lot of meat back there, dude. She had I no mean, cheeks no more. She had some cheeks, but like, oh man, and oh, dude, road I, rash just sounds so horrible, bro. But only on the cheeks, bro. Oh, you can't bro, sit. She had jeans, I think, and just right off. Oh, dude, it yeah. was so quick. Yeah, just like cheese grater, jeepers mm. creepers. Somebody get their jeans on them cheeks, boy. <laughs> oh. Anyway, just got just cringed real hard there. Did you? So you want to? Did you like you said you want to like focus on the main on the purpose? Yeah. Did just, you have like something that you were thinking specifically, or are you just like? Well. No, because I don't really know what my purpose is yet, I guess. <laughs> oh, praise God, dude. That's a no, little... being for real, like, I don't know. I that's mean, a little amoeba floating through the sky right there, boy. Like, I don't know. I, It's hard to think photography is it. Like, I don't Dang, know. Dang, are you getting, like... Huh? You're, like, a professional and you're, everything's going good, but you're, like, starting to feel the the what's my purpose part dude like, like yeah, you, I guess kind you're of going that. through like the graduation <laughs> like that. you know like you're at first you're just trying to figure out something to do yeah and then you're like okay i'm barely making it and then now you kind of you made it and now you're kind of doing like mm-hmm. well why I am peaked. i well why am i even doing it <laughs> yeah. you know or what am i even doing yeah i mean yeah. i don't like it but i just i feel like you know maybe photographing like like I always want to do nature, you know. So like photographing up something in creation and yeah, showing you're doing it off. Like the opposite of nature. Yeah, you're everything's like, so fake. <laughs> you're doing like the minute freaking yeah process nature. Everything's so fake, dude. How do you? Oh, you got to get out there. Yeah. You got to get in the wild, dude. I know. Maybe next year. <laughs> 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 just no. Um. Yeah, I just. Uh, 
I've been I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Finding finding a purpose and sticking to it, not letting really anything get in the way. I mean, uh, there's some stuff I want to talk to you about later, but off the pod. Do tell them, look look the camera dead in the eyes, dude, and tell tell them what you'll do to the thing if it gets in your way of your Which purpose. Which lens? The top right. Okay. Say it. What like if something gets in the way of your purpose, what what will you do to it, bro? Look at me when I say this, y'all. Everybody or whoever Sp- it is. Everybody on Spotify right now. <laughs> 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 Concerned. Look at me with your ears. I will demolish <laughs> you and your dog. Ooh. I will eat your dog in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat your dog in front of you he and will. your kids. So, yeah, nothing's stopping me, bro. Heck yeah, dude. That's Unless they're a cat person, then yeah. If you got cats, I'm done for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cats. That's bro. my one move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> oh. Um. Where are we at, dude? How far are we make it? We're at an hour eighteen. I think that's a good place. You got anything else to say? Um, I'm thankful to the Patreon members. Let's see if I got anything. Thing, else I to feel say. like you. Oh, my phone's recording. I don't know if. I oh, I got a, I got kind of a random qu- uh, question. Yeah. So you had that question about will there be weapons in heaven? Well, I got a question for you. Oh yeah. Will there be Bibles in heaven? Will there be Bibles? Um, I don't know, dude. It's so because it's like I feel like it'd be nice to have around, dude. The good book. Because I get I guess if you don't, you just get there and you're you're studied out. Or do you think? Well, will you? Sorry. Will you just know the word? You might just know it. You might just know it like verbatim. You think they'll do scripture reading in heaven? They know. Okay, today out of James, we're gonna be reading. I wonder. They... So. Did you read something about there being? No, I just thought about it, and because uh, I was thinking, I was like. I thought about the question, and then I my answer was basically like, what's the point of a Bible? And the point of a Bible is to get us there. Okay. So if we're there, why would we need it? Yeah, it's kind of weird if you like got the treasure and you're still like looking at the map. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And everybody who, who, who wrote the Bible is there, so it's like, you can just ask them. Dude, the more you think about heaven, the weirder it sounds. You know, like... Oh, dude, yeah, it's like nothing ever we've ever experienced, clearly. But I mean, saying. it's like I was also thinking about. You think there'll be any kind of electronics? Like, <laughs> will there be a big screen or? Again, you're probably thinking about it too materialistically. I am, but it's just like, it's. I feel like it's probably now. Here, listen. This could 100 percent be wrong. There's no facts about this, but I feel like it would not just be like a spirit realm where everybody's just kind of floating around. Like, mm-hmm. I think there's going to be some things. Sure. I don't know if there's going to be like houses, houses. Like, I don't know, but we can only, I feel guess. like it's definitely not just a bunch of wobbly bob bodies kind of wobbly bob bodies, wobbly bobbly bodies. I think, I think there's going to be some bobs there, but we have names. Whoa. Well, we have haircuts soon. <laughs> well, dude, pull up with a yo the spirit cut. Give me the spirit cut. Dang it, dude! That's crazy. Will there be scissors? I just like. <laughs> Is that a like, weapon? <laughs> bro, if everybody's like fully, like Mister Cleaned out though, that'd be crazy. Everybody's just in white and bald. Well, okay. So you think about that. So I'm like, okay. Will there be Bibles in heaven? It's not really the 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 point of having a Bible is to get us there. So I would say probably not. What's the point of hair? Of what? Hair. I don't know. Keeping I mean, our I head think warm. It, yeah. Oh, are we gonna be cold in heaven? What's the point? Of, <laughs> what's the point of wearing clothes? Well, then you wouldn't need <laughs> eyebrows and stuff because that's for water. I don't. I but mean, you know what that also so means, dude. Do you know what that means, huh? What? That means you're losing the dong, brother. Because nobody making baby in heaven, I don't think. No, dude. All it's yeah. Can you you make, don't need it. Can you make baby in heaven? No. <laughs> no, I. But like, 
Is it's, that it's weird because the Bible says we'll be, we'll be able to recognize each other. That's weird. So we'll like, be able to recognize each other. Okay, put this together. You'll okay. be able to recognize each other, but there won't be marriage in heaven. Mm-hmm. What's, what's so how much thing? recognition? Because you, because think about this. You see your wife, and you're like, "Oh, I recognize you." And I mean, ha- like, you're just gonna not like her more than the other people. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you mean by that. Do you think there'll be any kind of sensual things in heaven, bro? I don't know. I don't know if if we'll have the urge. You know, because the Bible will be talking about you know like euphoria and huh? I don't know. I'm just I didn't, what are you talking about? I don't know, dude. I'm just what, what book are you reading? I don't know. The Book of Enoch. I, <laughs> dude, I, I just is so like now that I just thought about I'm losing my dong, bro. That really got me messed up. <laughs> that got me messed up so bad. <laughs> No balls? Uh, dongless <laughs> dongless heaven, bro. Oh, Man. okay. If heaven is dongless, bro. Dude. What's that? Look me in the eyes. If heaven was do- is dongless, that means that God is dongless. But that means that Jesus was dongless. But then he came to heaven or came to earth, got dong. You know he was hype about getting dong. We're going to have to end the podcast here, you guys. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. You know, bro. The dude had a new toolie on him. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out what I wrote down <laughs> I mean You know how women they're always like Dude if I had a dong I'd have so much fun <laughs> Like just you, Really you guys <laughs> I mean I've heard it I mean it's like, great but It's awesome And Jesus had to have been like Okay I'm mad that I have to go down and die But getting a dong is kind of That's nice but you forget that we can just like detach it if we want. I mean, sometimes, but I don't ever do that mode. Why? I don't ever do detach mode because not that's scary, dude. Not if you're what, going to like play a sport if, or something. What if you leave it in the gym locker and some dude looks over your shoulder and remembers the code and steals your dong? Man, that's true. At least I have, at least I have my nuts. Oh, that's even. Yeah, no, I want my no, no. Don't steal my dong. Okay, listen, I'm gonna put this out there. If I lost my dong, take my nuts, dude. I'm yeah. not being just yeah, just just nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ain't no way. I'm just I'm just I'm just ball bag Bobby, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. all right, dude. No we way gotta, you're just speed bagging. Get me off the air, just bro. Speed get me bagging. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let us know if you want honest honkies after dark. <laughs> like, get, only for the Patreon, though. We don't need to be online right now, dude. Oh man, get the um, get the honkies out. I wanna I wanna shout out to seven M three I one seven W O Y B A D N F X five Z F eight B A Z G six. He responded uh, to one of our episodes and he said the audio sounds great. Um, rich <laughs> bass without any without any boominess. Uh, great dynamic range and volume. What? Thanks, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go ahead and wait right there? What video? Uh, our our Chris our Christmas. Oh, on on Spotify. Uh, episode ten, yeah. Praise God, dude. Yeah, bro. I appreciate it. It's, going, um, it's about to be even better, yeah. hopefully. He wrote that in the Q&A. Uh, That's it awesome. wasn't a question, but if you guys have questions, you can write us You can write us questions and we'll answer it. Maybe. Maybe we'll try. Um, yeah. But that's the honks, dude. All right. You want to you wanna honk out? <laughs> All right. Honkies. Honkies out. Honk. <laughs>